Hey everybody, this is Sir Tap Tap. I thought I would just do a quick little video to show you the new update. Uh, sorry for recording using my phone. Um, they decided to move out the expand feature from the uh, little palette menu there to the main menu since it's it's a pretty important feature and lots of people were missing it because it's in you know a place where not a lot of people use. They also updated the fish menu. They added a little gasha thing which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, what it does is you get a spin, and if you pay pearls, you'll, I think, definitely, possibly, get a uh, event fish, a past event fish. It'll be a totally random one, so you could get, you know, you could get, like, a skeletal angel fish you got, like, a friggin' year ago, instead of that fancy Christmas whale that you missed. Um, in my opinion, it's a pretty poor way to spend pearls, but hey, there it is. You can also run a free uh, spin, which more often seems to give you vitality, gems, or pearls, but it, I think it can give you uh, fish. I'm not entirely sure how it all works. I'm not sure if the numbers are out there. I think China passed a law, so you have to publish your gacha, like, um, which is basically like a slot machine, if you didn't know. Um, you have to post your probabilities. Thank you for muting my phone, Parker. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if we know the numbers for that. I, I wouldn't really recommend. I would watch the, I would get the free one that you can wa get from watching an ad. Um, cause you can get 50 pearls. Ironically, the pearls are the best thing about the, um, the free spin in my opinion. Um, and it's not to, uh, do another gotcha spin. It's to, uh, it's to buy stuff and expand. So, uh, I showed you a little bit of expand earlier. I did want to note that, um, it turns out you can build... Uh, I don't think I have enough pieces to really show you in detail. Parker. Parker, please stop rubbing your face on my phone. Sorry, cat-related issues. Um, it turns out you can kind of... Huh? Oh, there we go. Um, I saw some people doing this before. Um, you can kind of move things off the edge of the platforms just a little bit. So what I've seen people do is build with their, um, these, they usually use these wide rocks here that cost 20 pearls, and, uh, what they'll do is, no, let me edit that. This is a really a bit fiddly for something you have to use with your fingers. But basically they'll do this, and they'll make a, a bridge out of these wide rocks, and what you can do is actually move all of your stuff all the way out over here, so that um, it's actually in view when you, um, when the expand menu is closed. Because when it's all the way on the right here, you can't really see most of the stuff unless you're in camera mode. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool tip. Um, I don't really have, I've mostly spent all my pearls on making, uh, upgrading these craters. So, oh, there's some nice Z fighting for you there. Um, let's move that there. Um, oh, the Z fighting does not stop. Well, that's an odd glitch. The lighting is all wrong on it, too. Oh, anyway, but yeah, that's that's a trick I've seen people... I've seen people make, like, a bridge, and then they can, like, build right up in... You can build up into the quarter light itself. It's, it's, it's actually pretty neat. Uh, but I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the purchases to uh, show you that. I spend all of my pearls on the uh, craters. I find them the most effective use of craters. Um, or of pearls, rather. Um, but yeah, like, currently, you see, I have plus 260% tap vitality, and once you've unlocked your skills, um, the only thing that really matters vitality-wise is casting Song of the Moon and then Delicious Food. Um, everything else is pretty much meaningless in comparison. Uh, Coral Vitality really never, again, there's some early points on where it does matter, but it never really recovers. Anyway, uh, the shop tab has also been rearranged, so they have kind of this three-layer menu. Vitality is here. Don't buy anything in this menu. Um, Spirit of Life sometimes, if you have an excess of gems. Um, this is the gem menu. This is the same as... That's where you buy fish now. There's also pearls. Uh, you don't get a discount for buying pearls in bulk. Um, 200 pearls, 5 bucks. 2,000 pearls, 50 bucks. Just, there's not even a package discount. I don't really think... I don't recommend buying pearls, personally. I would say the, the best benefit you get from paying in this game is buying the um, the uh, the packages here, like Junior Package. Uh, the $5 package in particular, because it halves 
Um, they just added this feature totally silently, but now this Create Life 50% discount, what that means is that every fish is 50% cheaper. And if you buy two, uh, if you buy two package fish, it's 75% cheaper. If you buy three, it's like, uh, 80-some percent cheaper. It's, uh, you know, uh, it, it's pretty, it's a pretty nice benefit. Um, of course, eventually you start getting, like, the $50 in-app purchase, it's not gonna be worth it. But for that first five, ten bucks, I would say the fish are the most worth your money, even more so than the Midas Tap. Even though I know it has its proponents, it's a little bit better than when I initially reviewed it. Um, but the, the major new feature, which I just closed, um, major new feature is this collection thing. So, what you do is you gotta collect all of the fish for that's in an ocean, and it's not like geographically correct, as you'll notice. The Arctic Ocean, it seems kind of like a building up tier system, like here in the Pacific you have three fish, then in the Atlantic you have a few more fish, and then in the Antarctic you have you require all of them, and it's like, you know, it kind of builds up on itself, so you get pearls when you fill up these, um, and it can require hidden fish, it'll never require a paid fish or an event fish, but there's some hidden fish. Also, the level 3 one does require the marlin, so uh, I know some people are not going to be happy about that. But uh, I did make a guide for finding the striped marlin. There's really nothing too fancy about it, but if you're curious, there you go. As you can see, they kind of add more fish, like it's an additive thing where, you know, oh, you have everything. Oh. See, th this, this kind of rewards collecting more than one of each fish. As you can see, up to five fish. I think six is the highest amount of any single fish you'll need, which is what I need for that Peppermint Angel. So, if you're like me and you don't know what to frickin' buy, um, now you kind of have your answer. Buy two of everything, then buy three of everything, then four, and so on. Or just, you know, now that we know the list, you can just, um... You can, uh, just read the list and see what you should buy next. But generally speaking, two of everything is a pretty safe bet. Obviously, this is a pretty late game sort of thing. If you're not even at, like, Z Vitality yet, um, you can get some pearls. You can get the first tier of pearls. But yeah, as you can see, I got 300 pearls for that. And um, now I'll be expected to get a whole bunch more fish for this tier 3 thing. Oh, there's the infamous Striped Marlin. Um, I already have five of those, fortunately. Need a bunch of gobies. Need uh, the spotted eagle ray. We get 600 pearls. You get pretty good pearl rewards. Um, these are obviously one-time things, but they're, they're pretty worth it. So I've got 500 pearls now, which is... That's 10 days worth of daily pearls. Um, no updates to the daily mission. The daily mission seems to be the same. Um, I suggested they should cut that 5,000 tap down to 1,000. And the time machine to the 30. Um, it hasn't been changed, but I think, I think it's a little nuts. Even if you play really actively, like, even when I'm playing this game a lot, I don't get to 60 minutes without leaving my phone, um, you know, just idling. And it's like, that's, that's just a waste of power. That's just, that's just silly. Be green, you know, let us not waste so much time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, regarding that fish, bonus fish thing, um... As you'll notice, I did get the beginner package, so I have a 50% fish discount. So this is where I first heard of this. They didn't put out patch notes for the new patch thing. Um, Abyssrium is really fishy with their, uh, accidental pun there. Um, they're really iffy with their, uh, patch notes. Like, sometimes they'll announce things on Facebook, and then th when they actually update, the update doesn't actually mention when it changed. It's like, come on, people. Um... Oh yeah, while I'm here, there's a few things hidden in the Expand update they never really directly mentioned. Um, one of those things is that the timer for getting free gems, that's been reduced from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. So uh, I know iOS users have some trouble getting uh, free gems. So now you can watch gems, the gem things a lot faster. Um, also, the skills now upgrade to level 21. Um, magic items upgrade to level 20. Unfortunately, the costs after the previous cap, um, which is 11 or 10, um, it costs 100 gems more for each level. So as you can see, Song of the Moon goes up to freaking level 21. I forget if I mentioned this before. Uh, this has been a big help in expanding my, uh, you know, in 
raising my vitality, but I happen to have a ton of gems stored up because I, uh, I maxed out all my skills, like, I think December or January. So, that's been a nice relief, but otherwise, the biggest improvement for me has been, uh, being able to use these craters. Though, dang, this, um, this funny business with this crater L, I did the math on my site, I think it was like, I want to say it was like 4,000 pearls, which is, uh, how many days is that? Is that, that's almost 100 days? You know, 80 days, something like that. That's a lot of, or maybe it's, maybe it's not that many. The front of me, but it's a lot. Because every time you upgrade a crater, it adds um, three for the small crater, six for the big one. So I'm gonna have to spend 126 for the next level, and so on and so on. So yeah, I think it is 4,000. Um, yeah, they're expensive, and also these sand castles. Like I said, coral vitality, not important. So I mean, if you want to buy one for uh, cosmetic sake, sure. But that large sand castle is like. The absolute biggest waste of time and money in this game, like, ever. Because that's like 4,000 pearls just for what's effectively a cosmetic item, because it's not going to matter for your vitality production, I'm sorry. I wish coral was more important, but uh, it's not. Um, one, of, one of the big problems in the game is um, just that the coral vitality multiplier, like, it affects certain things like the free vitality uh, here, but if you'll notice, that's like 20 taps worth of vitality. That's it's, it's garbage, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the new update. There's, um, I can't believe my thing is still glitching out over here. Um, I don't know what happened to it, look at it. Um, Weird. It'll probably go away when I close the app, but, uh... Yeah, there's, uh... I really like the collection thing. I, uh... I like that there's kind of a goal to work to towards, even when you have one of each fish. Um, I'm not a big fan of the gotcha thing. The, you know, the slot machine thing. Uh, but... I do think it's about the least worst way they could have implemented it. Um, it does kind of irk me that, I mean, let's look at the prices here. Uh, 200 pearls, that is four daily missions. Um, you can spend five dollars to avoid four daily missions. Um, and like, you don't even get a bulk discount, it's like... It, it feels pretty whale hunty to me. But, uh, I don't feel super compelled, like, I don't feel it necessary to do it either, so I mean... Like I said, could be worse, but could be better. Um, also, this 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 version seems really buggy for certain people. Um, it really bugs out on my Nox app player, which is part of why I'm recording on my phone right now. Um, and somebody says it crashes all the time for them. So, uh, hopefully they'll fix the bugs, but I mean, it's Abyssrium. They kind of always have bugs. That's probably my, my biggest overall complaint, is that... They really don't fix a lot of bugs. There's bugs that have been in this game since I started playing. And I played just like a month or two after it came out. Like, seven months ago or so? It's, it's been a while. Anyway, this was supposed to be a quick update. It went a little long. But uh, that's all you need to know about the new update and more. And a little bit about the expand update, since there was some hidden bits in there.